everyone, welcome to part two. That's my 12 inch by 16 inch by 2 inch canvas and I am attempting to put some blooms on and hoping that I can improve my color quality substantially because I'm not super super thrilled yet. I'm going to use some French silk in the middle of that yellow flower. A little bit of pink carnation. My broken bottle. I have a light color, which is Sour Lemon and Orange Crush. And I think I'm going for the purple this time. There, that's making me a little happier. I gotta make them a different size. They're, they're all too uniform so far. I'm going to start with some of my weird cell activator. Which you can ask me about, but is mostly Aussie Floatrol and um, Decor de Americana 24 karat gold with golden fluid acrylic. That is a dioxazine purple. flowers are looking a little more samey samey than they were. I'm going to try some of the big apple. I'm nervous about that bright, that red, so I'm probably going to flood it with pink <laughs> or purple. Actually, I'm going to use some of the poinsettia. I have some bottle tips to clean out. Unfortunately, I'm going to use some of that Aussie Floatrol, some more of the Sour Lemon with Orange Crush. Speaking of that, I think I'm going to use some of the mixture of Orange Crush. I'm just going to keep adding colors until I'm happy. That's more of the Pink Carnation. That'll probably do it for me. So let's go with, I like the white and the black combination very much. And that's gorgeous. some more blues. I think I want a big bloom right in the middle. I'm going to use risk a little bit of this midnight shadow. Some of the blue velvet. And finish up with the black raspberry. Or am I? Can I do it without any pink? Come out. Thank you. <laughs> well, if I only get a drop, I only get a drop. I thought I was being so good, too, to go through and shake all my bottles in advance. The Amsterdam White and the Amsterdam Black. My pink brine recipe is below the video. Or I should say recipes are below the video. I definitely want some more orange. Some bright bright orange. This time I'm going to try and add a few more small flowers, but those ones are running. So I'm going to blow them away. I'm going to try the straw.
Nice. Definitely interested in getting back to the pinks. I haven't tried to use, oh, maybe I haven't tried to use any hot orchid. Go for the carnation again. I'm not sure they don't work better with the top right off of them. I want some frosted berry. A little bit of the big apple. Some more of the orange crush. I really want some purple too. I think this is going to be good though. Yes, that's what I needed. A nice big bloom. I used some silver on the edge of one of, one of my flowers the last time and I'm tempted to do it again. I just want a tiny flower there. Which is good because I'm only going to get a tiny amount of paint. <laughs> I don't want another drop of paint there. And I know from experience I'm not going to get much. Okay, so I'm not sure how far along I am. I'm feeling like I can go a little further. Just depends on how much paint I can get out at what rate of speed. That was the sour lemon with some orange crush. That was some mixed big apple and orange crush. I'm going for the hot orchid. Because it is the one that's coming out the easiest. I'm going for the purple too. Oh, that was a good call. I think I'm going to do that again. With a tiny little drop of black right in the middle. All right, so orange. I'm going to mix some of that gold cell activator in there. There's the, hopefully this will come out easier than it did last time. Nope. Come on out. And the black raspberry. Did I say there was hot orchid in there? Maybe I didn't remember, but I'm going to do it now. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did down there, except for with the white and the purple. I, it occurs to me I didn't use any of my orange and a little black this time. Whoops, that was a lot of black. Perfect. Well, maybe perfect. I think I need 
a couple more little things in there. <laughs> I think I'm always going to think that. There, now we're getting a layered effect that I kind of like better. I'm going to use some more hot orchid, some more black. I'm always squeezing thinking I'm going to blow the top right off. Black raspberry. And I love this sour lemon with orange crush. Also gonna go for see I've already made it bigger than I wanted to. And here's this. Not a very descriptive way to put something. Here's this. That was the gold cell activator. I think that was perfect. I got a few more. It's gonna be overloaded, but I'm gonna like it. <laughs> And here goes my silver. And with that, I think I'm going to keep to my theme. There's the black raspberry. Here's my combo. Combo being red apple and orange crush. Come out, come out, come out. Wow, this is the first time I've had this trouble. And it's been weeks since I made these colors up. Alright, white, purple, black. And then with the exception of that stripe at the top of my sky, which I'm a little dubious about right now. Good, now I have two. All right, what am I gonna do about that? A little African violet. A little frosted berry. I went to an awful lot of trouble to get that sky, only to have something strange happen to it. I'm glad you got to see more of the flowers. Oh, and I forgot to blow on that. Oh, and I like that. Cool. I can see a little bit of something behind, and that's not a bad thing. <clears throat> Let me grab a skewer with a fat end. Maybe add a few spirals to the center of those little buds, or whatever they are. And I'm thinking maybe some more Tuscan Sun. So I'm going to put some in the dish. Throw my spatula in the bucket. If I need another one, I've got it. I like adding the few little flourishes to make a, make a difference. <clears throat> I'm thinking about some frosted, frosted berry. I kind of like to put some pink diamond in there too.
See, I've got some bubbles. I don't need to attach any stems, that's for sure. There, I think I'm going to call that good. And if I need to do something else, wow, I used up all my time. So I should tell you some stuff like shop my Amazon link at know how to cost you and it helps me out and I really appreciate it. It's on the link tree along with Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. And I kind of want to put some green in there. Right there. And then use whatever I've got. In case I see any little spots like that. and provide a highlight in the foreground. Except for that dog hair attached to the end of that skewer. Maybe it's just a bamboo fur filament. Okay, so I forgot entirely that I was in the middle of telling you guys that there's a monthly drawing to help support the studio and it would be very appreciated if you would like to make a donation through PayPal or Patreon, excuse me. PayPal is it and it's the on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. Um, I've figured things out and they're not working for me right now. <laughs> but you help out an awful lot and you know who you are and you're the only reason I'm still here. So if you'd like to continue on Use the PayPal icon on my bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner or look on the link tree. <laughs> that one spot is bugging me. Right in the middle. And that purple. There we go. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying thanks for joining me. I post seven days a week at noon and midnight, at least for right now. Thank you for your wonderful comments to keep my morale boosted. I do give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And I do sell my artwork. I'm going to shimmer this at you if I, if I can at all. There's some beautiful, beautiful, glossy, shiny, shimmery, golden, sparkly, Wonderful stuff going on. I might touch up in my bottom and my leaves with a clean, clean spatula after you're gone. Let me see if I can get right down. Oh, it's totally stuck. Come on, up you come. No, it's not coming. <laughs> but I'm going to go down here anyway. Let's see if I can show you something. And it shut off again. All right, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I love you guys. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzel. I said that already. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. Sorry about it being part two, but I know the ones of you who wanted to see this completed will be happy. So have a wonderful, wonderful day or night or weekend. And uh, know I'll see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I don't even mind that thing at the top of the sky anymore. Cool. Bye.